Right now, an oil facility in Cuba continues to burn after it was struck by lightning last week, setting off a series of fiery explosions. Neighboring towns are being evacuated as a precaution. And this will no doubt create even bigger problems for the country's already failing power grid. Here's Local 10's Hatsovela with an update. Parece que hay una explosión. Just this afternoon at around 1.30, Cubans across the island witnessed an explosion live on national TV. Sunday night, 11.30, another explosion. Anguish from Cubans in Matanzas, watching the inferno rise up to the sky. From far, they could still feel the heat from the flames. From ground zero in Matanzas, Hansen Moreno, an independent journalist, says he lives in Versailles, the neighborhood closest to the fire. Close to 5,000 people have been evacuated. Tells us he had to rush and get his family out of the neighborhood, and so was everyone else, describes it as an ugly sight, a catastrophe. So far, several tanks have collapsed. And the fire continues at the large oil storage facility, which is about 60 miles from the capital. Here's video from this morning where you can see the thick black smoke over the rooftops in Havana. Cuba's president says the situation is complex. Muy difícil de controlar. En Cuba no hay todos los medios que se requieren, no hay toda la tecnología. President Miguel Diaz Canal says the fire is hard to control in a country that doesn't have the means and technology to do so. The government says the fire was sparked by lightning Friday. The facility has eight tanks which hold oil to generate electricity. The blaze comes at a bad time as Cubans struggle with the deep economic crisis that has affected its power grid, which is why they have daily blackouts now and partly to blame for those historic protests we saw in July of last year. And so at this point, the government is reporting 125 people have been injured because of this fire. They're reporting one fatality, one dead, and 16 still missing. They believe those 16 are mostly made up of firefighters. By the way, some bad news this afternoon. The power plant in Matanzas is now offline, which is likely going to make things even worse in that area. For now, reporting live from Little Havana, I'm Hatsavala, Local 10 News.